Prior to that moment, Donuts. were you just did you think like all Catholic schools are done? There's I knew no that such Bosco thing as a good... was better, mm-hmm. but I didn't know how good. I knew that the administration was better, yeah. right? And that tends to be what happens. You have admin where you got a really solid theology department or a really solid principal, but there's this whole mechanism of we need money and butts and seats, so we're yeah. going to sacrifice mission, right? We're going to sacrifice all the things that make it authentically Catholic to make sure that we can keep the doors open. Mm-hmm. It's what everywhere does. What's your take on Catholic? So you got a great school you're at. It's a hybrid mm-hmm. school, right? They come a couple of days a week? Yeah, so K through 8, they're there two days. You're either Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah. And then high school's Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. What's your take on Catholic education as a whole in general? Like America-wide? Yeah. Like in your it's, experience, because you've been a principal. Gutter, different, yeah. How right? so? No, totally. I, I mean, I think it all comes back to... That's a good idea. I'm going to do that in a second, too. I think it all goes back to this idea of we want to be good schools that are Catholic, as opposed to we want to be good Catholic schools. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. Right? And so... The concern is we got to get kids into good colleges. We got to get uh, make sure they're all NCAA, whatever, so our athletes can do it. Make sure they get lots of scholarships and they're eligible for all these, whatever. I'm the dean of academics. That's my title. Mm-hmm. I don't care about academics at all. I say that at the open house, and that's <laughs> maybe that's a little. T- I care <laughs> no, about no, it. Push but into like that. This much. Why don't you care about academics? Because it's the least important thing you're doing when you're 14, 15, 16 years old. Good grades are convenient, right? Like money. Money is convenient. But it's not what's important, right? Mm. I'm not happy. I'm not fulfilled. I'm not the person. I'm not working to be the man that I'm supposed to be because I have a lot of money or because I got good grades. Who cares? Right? Here's education. And this is Catholic education, but it's education in general, right? Little Johnny. I normally stand up and do this, so I'm having a hard time sitting still, (laughs) but I'm going to do it. Little Johnny is born. Look at precious little Johnny. He's a child of God, and he's beautiful, and he's he's good. His mind is blank. He's just going to be filled with goodness, right? And we take little Johnny, and probably little Johnny's mommy and daddy works. Little Johnny goes to daycare. Right? And then when Johnny turns four, we put Johnny on this assembly line. Right? And little Johnny spends the next, what, 12 years or whatever going down this assembly line of a little bit of math and a little bit of science. And, oh, here's some foreign language and here's some health. Oh, and if I'm at a Catholic school, we'll say the Hail Mary before we learn about that. Mm-hmm. And we, we go down to the end of the assembly line where we get the privilege of going to college on another little assembly line where all I'm doing day in, day out with my education is I'm consuming information to then regurgitate onto a test so that I can do it again, right? Over and over and over again. And at the end of that, if I go through college, right, then I get the privilege, little Johnny does, of paying taxes until the day that I die. And who cares? Who cares? Yeah. Your grades don't matter. I want, I want our kids to get good grades. It's nice. It makes my life easier. Yeah. That's for sure. It's more convenient. Because if everybody's failing. getting Fs, they're like, what's going on yeah. in your classes? But we get, I mean, we, I can brag on colleges, right? We get kids into good schools and everything. Notre yeah. Dame and Columbia, if that's what you're about. Yeah. But I get more excited about the fact that uh, we've got a couple of our kids getting married this summer, some alumni who yeah. are fantastic, awesome, well-formed kids who are fulfilling their vocation. I'll brag about that. I don't care about so what, what, Miller sh- what should it look like? Is it, you know, yeah, if, if you were to kind of, hey, good luck, this thing's almost dead. We might have to borrow your matchbox. Right. But like, if you were to try to rewrite that, you're talking about little Johnny going to school, being on the conveyor belt, I'd want to know what that looks like, and I'm going to keep talking until you've lit your hey, cigar. There's yeah, no this way this you're going to get that. No way. Do you Can want I to throw in that at him? Yeah. Ooh, thank you. So wait, so what's the question? If I could rewrite it? Yeah, so like you're a critic of putting little Johnny on the conveyor belt as you see it and him going through school and regurgitating information and then going onto another conveyor belt and then paying taxes and dying. How, 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 so, all right, what should it look like? I mean this to sound less tongue-in-cheek than, I'm, than it's going to sound, but I think we should start by, if I could do it my way, taking a match to 90% of the schools. Right? We have to re I mean seriously, I I will I will say out loud publicly, I don't think public education is a great thing. No. Necessarily. No. Right. I don't think I don't think that we have a right to education that should be provided by our government or anything mm. like that. And we didn't, right? And I don't know a whole know, lot about the history of education. Yeah. I mean I can't dig dig yeah, into yeah. it. But in the early twentieth century, there weren't public schools everywhere. You had parochial schools that were incredibly affordable, mm-hmm. right? Or free through parishes or people who tithed. There's still is Kansas City or somewhere out there where the bishop says, if you tithe, yeah, where is that? Then you're forget, free. Yeah. Your, your Catholic tui- tuition is paid for. Yeah, but it has to. It, it goes deeper than just burning down schools, which is great. Right? I'm not endorsing domestic terrorism on here. I'm not saying we should. I'm not saying you should do that. Whoever's watching from St. John Bosco, don't do that. But I think we have to reimagine, or not reimagine, just remember the purpose of education in general. Which is what. Fulfilling vocations and salvation. I mean, yeah. that's everything, right? 
Salvation yeah. is everything. The goal is to get little Johnny into heaven. Yeah. And that sounds cheesy and dumb, but it's true. Yeah. It's 100% it's true. the way things are. And when you, when you orient what you're doing around that, and you say things out loud, like, listen, your grades are, it's, it's good to get good grades. That'll make your life easier. But really what I care about is you, little Johnny. Right? I love you. Mm -hmm. I say that to kids all the time. It sounds awkward, right? When you're, when you're saying it on here, but they, they vouch for me. I wish we brought a crew of them in here. Like, I, I love you. Like, I love you as mm -hmm. an individual, not you as one of my students. I love you, Matt, mm -hmm. right? And I want what's best for you. And if you fail a couple classes, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. We'll get you back there because we love you. And I want you, to, I want you to be saved. Yeah. I wonder if people's sh mentality is shifting on this altogether. Like, I know I grew up in Australia and university wasn't something that people did. I made, right. Not even half of my graduating class went to university because it, it's not like it is here in America. Remember when I started dating my wife, Cameron... Telling her parents I hadn't been to university felt like so telling someone in Australia I didn't go to high school. That's you know? interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but I feel like a lot of Americans are, are kind of thinking, yeah, why are we doing this? Why are we getting in tons, mountains of debt just so you can come out with some useless I don't degree? Think I don't think enough are. I mean, I think we've just had sort of this pipeline forever of if you want to be successful, you go to college. We were talking to that, the truck driver the other day, the yeah. cigar bar, who was talking about his, uh, whatever, his union president or something was sweeping mm. and mom said to her little child, and he overheard her saying, if you, if you want to grow up to be like that guy, then you, you won't go to college. And that's ridiculous. Yeah. This, is, this is a terrible thing to be telling kids. But colleges in general, I mean, I like college. I'm all about college. But I'm not all about what 90% of people do. I'm, I'm a big fan of like the liberal arts sort of, no, you should go here because learning is worth doing, mm. right? You should learn because it's good for you, and you, it'll help you achieve salvation eventually. Mm. That's why you should be here. Not to make more money for whatever. <sighs> Yeah, no, it's it is nuts how things have de-escalated, have have regressed. Well, how many people go to college and get a degree in history or something so that they can go be a hostess at Applebee's yeah, for the rest of their know. life, right? Yeah, I got a degree in history, and then I went. I was a firefighter. Yeah, I, I know. I don't care really. It's funny. I like I see my kids advancing, even just in the discussions we have. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, kind of Socratic back and forth about government and Biden sure. and salvation and different religions. I see them thinking critically. I see them as happy children because I'm like you. Like, I actually don't really care that much if my kids know all this stuff. It would be nice and I'm all about trying to make it happen, right. but not at the expense of sending them to some awful school that's going to endanger their souls and indoctrinate them into the LGBTQ stuff or whatever. I think practically speaking, college is really great for networking. It's really good for spouse shopping, and it's really good if you want to be a structural engineer, right? If you have a very definitive, yeah. you know, I want to be a surgeon. Yeah. I want to be an aviator technician or something like that, right? That makes sense. Mm. But so many of us just go because we're supposed to go. Mm -hmm. It's a stupid reason to go. Mm. So. Yeah, like my daughter's homeschooled right now, and she's learning how to crochet and cook and mm -hmm. bake and... She goes to gymnastics. Can you she, say she, she's making you a quilt She's right making now? me a quilt. She's so beautiful. She's one of the most interesting individuals That's I've amazing. ever had the pleasure of knowing. And I know she'll make a beautiful wife one day. Should God right. call her to that vocation? She's happy. She's got friends. But we're not... I'm so glad we're not sending her to these Catholic schools. But listen, when we talk negatively about Catholic schools, mm -hmm. we offend a ton of sure. people. And I really am not in the business of just offending people for right, fun. Right, right. And I also know that there are a lot of good people who love their Catholic school and really hope that it's going to work mm -hmm. out. And what do we know? I haven't visited every Catholic school. Right. Maybe you're sending your kid to a great Catholic school. So I'm, you know. Well, I want to say too, that there's a lot of really great people involved in Catholic schools, but just from, from sort of the big picture structural business model of these schools, you have to sacrifice mission in order to keep these schools open, right? Yeah. You've got, you have to have a thousand people on, right? Butts and seats every day in order to keep the lights on and the teachers paid and to continue to move this thing forward that you have created that has tried so desperately to keep up with the public school system. Mm. Why Bosco, why my school is great, right? And there's a lot of schools like, it's not just Bosco, but I'm a fan of Bosco, right? Yeah. But why it's great, I think, is because it was founded, it was created by people who were totally unqualified to start a school. And that's not a knock on my bosses, right? Yeah. That's a huge thumbs up. We're good because they came in with this like, how do you do this? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, there's there's none of this. Here's how you do this. Schools are supposed to be like this. Or mm. this is the policy that every other school has when we do this. And that's been amazing. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.